This morning, we're following up on Denver's Social Equity Cannabis Program. The program helps Coloradans with pre-legalization marijuana convictions become cannabis business owners. Back in 2021, I talked to LaRon Bradford when he was still an applicant for the program. It's hard if you're an African-American, a male or a female, it is hard. They've done something great by uh, you know, passing that bill um, and uh, you know making my dream come true. Bradford's trajectory in the social equity program is unprecedented. And at a time when many social equity applicants are struggling to get into the industry, Bradford found success. Mr. President never gives up. For a time in his life, LaRon Bradford's goal of entering the cannabis industry felt like a pipe dream. But as a participant in Denver's Cannabis Social Equity Program, designed to help targets of the war on drugs get into the legalized industry, Bradford finally started his cannabis business. It's hard if you're an African-American, a male or a female. This is Bradford when we first met him in 2021 when he was on step one of the program launching a delivery business. Now, he owns a store called Let's Blaze. We're on to go from a delivery business to a dispensary in three years is quite the trajectory. How did you do it? Well, it was, it was a plan. Let's get the delivery company, understand the market, understand the do's and the don'ts and the pitfalls and the ups and the downs. Bradford's business partner, Mitch Lane, says some of those pitfalls came from those already in the industry. The city and state gave some people some opportunities. It doesn't mean that the whole city and the rest of the ownership and industry did the same. And it's been difficult to find the right partnerships and the right people that have wanted to share that vision. Well, I think we found it amongst ourselves. All those challenges still exist. Denver's Director of Excise and Licenses, Molly Duplashain, says market saturation also makes it tough. But the program is moving forward, and the city currently has 56 active licensed social equity marijuana businesses, including Bradford's. We've been in touch with him for many years, even from before the program was in place, and so I'm really excited to hear that his business is growing and that he was able to establish that small delivery business and grow it from there. The city and the state have been great. And Bradford says he's grateful his mile-high dreams have come true. Thank you. Well, Bradford's success is even more impressive when we look at how the market is doing as a whole. Last week, we told you how retail cannabis sales in Denver dropped to their lowest point in nearly a decade last year. That report showed the city saw about $334 million in retail sales last year, down $56 million from the year before. Now, that's the lowest since 2016, two years after recreational sales were legalized. Medical sales also dropped to $117 million. That's down more than 50 million from 2022. And alcohol sales are also down across Colorado. New data from the state's Department of Revenue finds total sales volume is down 6% through the first six months of this year. That's compared to the same time period last year. Wine hit the hardest with sales volume down at 16%. Hard ciders down 7%. Spirits down 4% and beer down 1%.